Good morning. It's day 36 of the mass making project, Ikervoke mass making project. I wanted to talk about um, headbands and uh, ear loops. Um, most people get, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> most people get it. Uh, the mask ships with safety pins and two hair loops, uh, hair band binders, <clears throat> that can be used for ear loops. You pin, pin these on the mask and then you loop this around your ear and uh, that works. Um, some people get really upset because uh, they think that this is cheap or that I'm cutting corners. Um, there's some, some thinking behind this, okay? So the, there's a shortage of elastic in the country. It's very difficult to get good elastic, but um, I was able to get these hair bands. These are not as stretchy as regular elastic. So um, if I had regular elastic, I could sew it on and it would stretch to accommodate the different sizes of, of people's faces, but these are not at, quite as stretchy. So to accommodate the different sizes of people's faces, you have to move this headband forward and back on the mask to get the adjust the fit so that it doesn't either pull too tight or, or not pull enough. Um, so uh, it's simple, it works, it makes it adjustable, and you can um, easily replace these. If one of these breaks, you can undo the safety pin and pop another one on. You don't need a sewing machine to fix it, um, etc. Now, um, if you would rather wear a headband, um, you can do that if you chain together four of the ponytail ties, string them together, and then pin them to your mask, you can make a headband. Uh, now, uh, I like to wear my mask this way, that way it doesn't pull on my ears. I can wear my earbuds, I can wear a hearing aid, um, all kinds of things. Um, where this attaches to the mask is important in how the mask fits. If you attach this too far back, the mask, the top edge of the mask is a little loose. And the way to fix that is to move the pin forward a half an inch or three quarters of an inch, and that will pull the top edge of that mask up against your face and you want to find the point along this seam where it pulls equally on the bottom edge of the mask and equally on the top edge of the mask to make a good fit so um, on this mask I have done that I've, I've moved the pin further forward you can see on this one it is further back just moving it that half inch makes a big difference in how the mask fits. This mask snugs very tightly to my cheekbones and to my jawbone with just one headband. Some people like to feel more secure and they'll pin a second headband down down here and have that go around lower down around the base of their neck. You can certainly do that um, and it works. Um, this works too. So if you have extra hair ties at home, you can add them to your mask. Um, I hope eventually to be providing uh, more hair ties or um, elastic cord, but it's, I just don't have it yet. So in the meantime, we've got to improvise. Um, here's how you connect the hair ties together, overlap them, bring one through the other one and pull it like so. That's the first one. Then to add another one, you overlap it and you bring the hair tie around behind and pull it through and you can make a chain 
three of them probably is kid size, four of them, four would be probably adult size. I like four, it's a little more comfortable, three pulls too tightly on my head. Um, so that's just a little bit about how to fit the mask to your face. Stay well, be safe, thank you for your support.